Hey guys, uh, CS Tech here with you today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a GoPro pole mount here. It's uh, pretty simple. I just use things I had laying around and an old ski pole. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. So all I used on this was just the pole, or an old ski pole that I cut off. And then I drilled some holes as you can see there. I drilled a hole on the top and on the bottom and then I put a one of the GoPro screws through there with just one of the acorn nuts that came off of one of my other mounts plus a quarter inch Oh, let me find the camera. So on the the nut for the bolt that holds it on, I used one of the acorn nuts that comes with the mounts regularly and a quarter inch nut just as a spacer. And I glued those two together using Gorilla Glue. So on the pole, I just used a vise and flattened down the end here, as you can see that. And um, if you don't have a vise, you can use a hammer. It will work just fine. And then I drilled two holes in there, and um, one so the GoPro can be up like this if you want, on top, or on the bottom like that if it comes out like that if you want you can also with this you can turn it around backwards so you can videotape yourself while you're doing whatever you're doing I use it mainly for skiing and it looks pretty sweet with it just aimed back at me and you can get some sweet shots like that so let's go to the garage and I'll show you how to how to do this. Um, here's my ski pole I'm going to use to make the pole mount. And um, I just found a good length that I liked. You know, you don't want it to be too long or too short. So you clamp it down. If you have a vise, I would definitely clamp it down to cut it. And uh, I'm just using a metal saw here. Make sure you don't use a wood saw because that would it wouldn't work. So I uh, just cut it um, at the two foot mark that you marked. Okay, there we go. Now you don't need this end that has the point on it, so just get rid of that. Now take the end that you have your handle on, see, handle, and just stick it in the vise, okay? And just um, clamp it down. Okay, so just clamp it down. Oh, and before you do that, I forgot to do this. Make sure it's oh, the same way as the handle goes. So like that. See the handle over here is sticking straight out. So you want to add the same same way as the handle. And then just uh, just bend it. Keep tightening it down till it's flat. And I like, and if you don't have a vise at home, you can just use a hammer and hit it uh, and smash it down to the way you like it. Do it so you can't can't tighten it anymore. Right there, I can't tighten it anymore. And take it out, and if there was any edge that was sticking up, see that. 
how does the edge sticking up, flip it over and retighten it so that part gets bent well too. Okay, that's pretty tight. If it gets bent a certain way, I just bend it so it's straight. Because that did happen to me. Okay. So now that you have your bent pole, you'll notice that, for me at least, it uh, split down the side. And I'm sure using a newer pole, it wouldn't do that. But for me, it just split down that edge there. So what I'm going to do now is come over to the drill press. And if you don't have a drill press, you can just use a regular drill. Just make sure you clamp it down first so it's good and tight so it doesn't move. Okay, and for this, I took the GoPro and uh, stuck it on the corner so it was straight in the corner and mark the hole. Okay, see how I have it right in the corner of the bent pipe? So that way you'll be able to rotate it after you drill the hole. Uh, where are you? See that? So then I just mark the hole and um, use the drill bit. Let me tell you what size uh, I use. Size 10 in standard uh, drill bit. And that's in standard, not metric. Okay, so you turn the drill press on. And you want to have it go at a slow speed because you're drilling into metal. Just, uh... And you kind of want to ream it out a little bit just so it, uh... So the screw goes in and out easily. Okay, so now you have your hole uh, in there. See that? And you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. Now I have both holes drilled in there. And that's a size 10 drill bit. Okay, so what I did to separate, uh, to get these two sides together, is I just took some Gorilla Glue. Let's see, Gorilla Glue. And um, uh, now I just, uh, you're supposed to wet it first, so have some water, just dip it in. Or spit on it or something. And then um, take your glue and get a screwdriver. Kind of open it up a bit. Not too much that it breaks, but just, just like that. So you can get the glue in there. So uh, stick some glue in there. Probably not. You don't need that much. I'm kind of doing a lot, but... And you could probably use JB Weld for this or something else, just whatever you have. I use Gorilla Glue because it's fast and easy. Okay, get a nail or a screw and uh, kind of spread it out because it, it's hard to get in there. Just kind of spread it all out in there. And make sure you get it on the corners and on the edges mainly because that's the the big spots that you need it. Okay, then take a clamp 
this regular seat clamp will do. You can find a small piece of wood or probably a piece of wood. Um, see a piece of wood here and just stick it on the side so you get to squeeze everything. And you can do it on both sides. I'm just going to do it on one. Uh, the side that has the screw on it. Okay, so it says to clamp it now for uh, one to two hours uh, at 70 degrees. So if you're using whatever type of glue you're using, it probably depends on that. Uh, so there's my finished one. And it's all glued. The sides are glued together. And I used one of these just regular screw that comes with the GoPro. And um, one of the acorn nuts that comes in the mounts. I just took it out of one of the mounts that I had. And I glued it onto a quarter inch nut just as a spacer. Because when you stick the GoPro on here, and you stick the bolt nut or the yeah the bolt through, and see all that amount that sticks up there, you need a spacer of some kind, and there isn't enough room to put a washer. So you could go and buy a number ten nut and just tighten it on there. But what I did is I just took one of the acorn nuts from the from one of the other mounts that I had and I just glued it onto a quarter inch nut just as a spacer so see it slips on there and then you tighten her down oh you can't see that can you so it just slides on there and tightens down and uh, yeah there you have your GoPro mount. And the way I glued that on is I stuck it in one of my other mounts that I just had laying around that had this the two slots just like the GoPro. And I just tightened it down with glue on the nuts to squeeze it together and hold it tight. So there you have your homemade GoPro pole. Your Go pole. Boom. It's finished. It works. And you're ready to go out and shoot some video. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe up above and comment concerns anything down below that you want to put. I have all the instructions in the description. So if you guys got lost in the video, they're all down there. Thank you.